good evening to all of you in our uh, last lecture fourth lecture we have seen function overloading uh, default argument to the function now today in this session we are going to study about the nested member functions in c++ it is also called as nesting of member functions now what do you mean by nesting we have already studied about nested uh, if loop na nested if and nested loops also so similarly we have nested functions also in the c++ when one member function calls another member functions of the same class it is called as nesting of member function so are you getting my point one member function calls another member function of the same class is called nesting of member function it means that both the functions belong to the same class and one member function is calling the another member function inside its code so this type of thing is called as nesting of member functions we will see a small example on nesting of member function now consider this example given here so there is a class which consists of two data members m and n and in public area we have three member function declared here here no visibility mode specified it means by default m and n declared as integer are in private area so we have three functions here input other function is display and third function is largest in every program of c++ we have three things that is we need one input function one output function and one function which is going to resp uh, which responsible for processing the program so your your logic will be written into the processing function like our c programming language every program has three step input process and output here also we have the same thing but we write a function for every activity for input we have input function for display we have display function and another function is largest which actually find the largest of these two numbers okay our class name written here is set now all these functions are just declared here it means we are going to later on define it outside the class and we in the last lecture we have seen how to declare or uh, define the function outside the class a class in c++ terminate with semicolon like our structure in c programming language now we'll see the first member function that is input how it is defined outside the class if you see the code of input function here the input function is responsible for taking the input values into m and n variable so we'll put a message to the user that is input the values of m and n and with the help of cin statement we read value of m and a value of n like this in c++ and please notice this uh, line how it has been written here when the function is defined outside the class we have to take care of writing the class name and scope register operator we write return type first then the class name then scope register operator and then function name and everything the code added is the way we did it previously so the new thing into the member function definition outside the class is we need to just include class name and scope register operator while defining the function outside the class this scope register operator tells the compiler that this input function belongs to the set class so the advantage of writing this uh, function outside the class is that we can have n number of classes in c++ with the same function name defined in it okay so the scope register operator is responsible for resolving the scope of the function okay so this is the input function defined outside the class now we'll see the another definition of largest function which is defined outside the class if you see this header line of largest function again the same thing is there right we have we added the class name and here the scope register operator in largest function we are just comparing the values of m and n so we can uh, write the condition if m is greater than or equal to n if this is true we'll re return m else we return the value of n so this function is the processing function which is responsible for displaying the uh, returning the largest function okay so we have another function display here now we are writing the code of display function outside the class the header line is like this void said scope operation operator display inside the display function we are going to call the largest function see here inside the display function we are uh, displaying the value of largest 
variable largest value equal to and inside the same line we are calling the largest function and we disclose the third function that is display. Now if you notice here carefully display function and largest function belongs to the same class but writing the code of one function we are calling another function inside the another function right. So this concept is called as nesting of member function and the rest of the things is as it is like a previous program that we have did into the last lecture. In the main program, we will first of all create the object of the class to access the features of the class. Then after creating the object of set, A is the object here. So through the A object, I can access all the functions defined outside inside the class. Okay, So that is input and display. So in this program, I am going to just call two functions that is A dot input, which is responsible for taking the input and I am just calling display function right yeah a dot display whenever you call a dot display a call goes to the display function but inside uh, another call goes to largest function. So one line of code that was needed in previous programs to call input uh, so input process function uh, one line for processing function one call for display function. So here we have not called that processing function we just call a dot display and in display function ultimately a call goes to a largest function so which saves our one line of code here so this type of concept of calling one function inside another function of the same class it is called as nesting of member function okay thank you for uh, listening this uh, video